Where did I end up? It seems like a natural cave. I can't believe it. This is a colony of Mexican psilocybin, one of the most powerful hallucinogenic mushrooms in the world. Professor Jones showed one of these in class when explaining Aztec rituals. Their sour odor is unmistakable, and the conditions for growth seem to be ideal. Humid and lacking sun. Only a strong adrenaline rush can counteract their effect. They're supposed to proliferate only in a few areas in Central America. How did they end up here? I'm also wondering who put these wood barrels here. I don't want to dive over there. I can't even see the bottom. It can't be. The hull outline. The colors on the bulkheads. A red nightmare sailed on the sea. Its slender shape induced all to stop and admire it. The historian Jean de Leon described the adventure galley this way. This is it. The adventure galley. Kid's ship. It's an amazing ship. And its preservation is practically perfect. I wonder how many secrets it still hides after all this time. Who dares? But, but, who said that? Who dares board my ship without permission? Who's talking? Are you a ghost? Show yourself! How dare you give orders to me? Only I can give orders. It can't be. I can't believe this. My, my god. Dad? Dad! Dad, is that really you? I have no sons. I'm the Adventure Galley's captain. My name is only whispered in both the old and new worlds. Some people call me the Scourge of the Seas. I'm William Kidd. Who are you? Dad, is that really you? Don't be cheeky boy. I already told you that I am the captain. William Kidd, and I have no sons. Are you questioning the word of a captain? Don't you recognize me? It's me, Willie. What tone is this? Boy, remember who you're talking to. I'm Kid. What happened to you? You're not Kid. You're Henry. Henry Morgan. Don't you ever mention that name in my presence. Morgan and Blackbeard are the reason my crew and I are here. If it wasn't for their betrayal, right now we'd be the masters of Tortuga. Instead, Morgan and Blackbeard mutinied hired their own crew and attacked us. But nobody can take possession of William Kidd's treasure. Remember well these two names, because they're the worst enemies of Kidd's crew. Morgan and Blackbeard, what I wouldn't give to meet you face to face. And now, speak plainly, for what reason are you here? Da- Captain, I'm the new deckhand you were waiting for. It's about time. You have permission to board and immediately get to work. The bridge needs a clean sweep. Ask the quartermaster to give you everything you need to make this ship shine. I'm going back to my cabin now. I have to plot the route for our next destination. Tortuga is waiting for us. What's happening here? How could Dad still be alive? Why doesn't he recognize me? I better get on the galley right now. I have to get my dad back home. The ship is completely deserted. I guess Dad, or Kid as he now considers himself, is in his cabin to the stern of the ship. It's one of the galley's cannons. It's a relatively new cannon. Probably after the last battle, Kid replaced the cannons that weren't working anymore. According to a chronicle of the period, these wooden mannequins were used to make the crew size appear larger. The fear factor and the number of armed men visible was usually enough to win a battle without even fighting. Somebody carved the name they gave to this mannequin in the wood. Jimbo.
This old sword could come in handy. Maybe I can learn how to handle it. If I'm not mistaken, near my house they just opened a school. The Sword Master. That should guarantee success. Yuck. The hilt is all sticky. Time must have corroded the handle's material. It's one of the oldest cannons on the ship. It has probably never been replaced. You can tell by the notches engraved on it. Every notch shows a battle in which it was shot. Eight notches, so eight battles. An interesting tidbit of information. I guess it's still armed and ready to fire. It's locked. If, as I suppose, this is the door to the hold, they have surely reinforced it. I obviously need the key to enter. I could ask the captain if he knows where I can find it. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. I'll need the key to access the hold. You still aren't an official member of the crew. You must earn this honor. Every new member must get to know the ship and gain the trust of the rest of the crew. I think I already saw everything and talked with everyone. Let's see if this is true of you. Answer these three simple questions. First, name at least one member of the crew, except the captain, that you met on board. Jimbo. Second question. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Grog and other delights? Third and last question. How many battles have we faced until today? Eight. I'm sorry. You're not ready yet. The answers are all around you. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand. Some well-preserved clothes. It doesn't strike me as the best time to start reading treatises on 17th century fashion. An old three-cornered hat. I think it belonged to some captain. Or someone from the upper class, anyway. Dad is seated at the captain's desk. There's a strange smell coming from the cabin. I can't take them. I can't reach it. Life on the Seas, Rules and Tasks on Board a Ship, by William Kidd. It seems Kidd was writing a treatise. Interesting. It looks like a voodoo doll. Some prankster guest of Kidd must have left it here after his stay. Better not touch it. I wouldn't want its curse to remain active on some descendant of the represented person. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. I'll need the key to access the hold. You still aren't an official member of the crew. You must earn this honor. Every new member must get to know the ship and gain the trust of the rest of the crew. I think I already saw everything and talked with everyone. Let's see if this is true of you. Answer these three simple questions. First, name at least one member of the crew, except the captain, that you met on board. Jimbo. Second question. According to which code have the rules of life on board been drafted? Life on the Seas, by Kid. Third and last question. How many battles have we faced until today? Eight. Well done. You have the honor of becoming one of Kid's pirates. Among us, there's a pact of mutual friendship and loyalty. You deserve the key to access the hold. Thanks, Captain. I'm honored to be part of your crew. Sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your business. Good. Go back to your duties, deckhand.
perfect. Wow! The legends were true. This is the result of years of piracy in all the seas of the world. It probably contains vanilla or cardamom. They were worth a lot of money on the European market. They all have to be dated and cataloged, even if I'd like to dive into it, like in the comic books. Coffee beans. Kid and his crew knew their value very well. They will surely be full of doubloons or jewels, but now I have other priorities. It's a mask. It doesn't seem to come from the Americas. I think it's the loot plundered from the assault on some ship coming from Europe. It's an old cannon. It... I don't want to shoot a cannon. Not here. A real sea dog would have never sat on one of the cannons turned to port. They were extremely superstitious. They thought that turning their back to the mainland was a sign of contempt, and that they would have been punished by the sea. This old mannequin was used to deceive the enemy. The more mannequins there were, the larger and more dangerous the crew seemed. I could use it to distract my dad and enter his cabin. If I could disguise it as a pirate, I could make it pass for one of Kid's most bitter enemies. If I'm not mistaken, he named Morgan and Blackbeard earlier. I really see it as a Morgan. They seem the right size. I don't think there was much variety of measurements on a pirate ship. It's starting to look like a member of the crew. A classy touch. The hat makes it look more important. This gives it an aura of mystery. Let's try to make it meaner. Discreetly threatening. Jimbo the pirate really looks like Morgan now. What's happening now? I hope it's something important. Captain, there's Morgan on the bridge. Morgan? Damn, scoundrel. You finally came back for the final showdown. It's really you, foul traitor. What nerve you dare show. By returning to the ship you turned your back on after it welcomed you as a child. Prepare yourself to face my wrath. While Dad is busy, I can access the captain's cabin. Your time is come. It's the statue of a dragon. It was also Kid's nickname. Other than Scourge of the Seas, he was known as the Sea Dragon for the firepower of his cannons. Better leave it where it is. I don't need it to get Dad out of here. These are the nautical charts of the galley. They will be worth a fortune. With these, it would be possible to retrace the ship's routes and identify the places it visited. I can't deal with this right now. It's more urgent that I find a way to get out of here with Dad. Dad has placed the logbook to protect the chalice's contents. Since I'm here, I better take them both. The same acrid smell of the mushrooms I saw in the cave emanates from the chalice. This could explain many things. Dad managed to survive all these years on a mixture of water and mushrooms. Even in small quantities, they sustain any organism that feeds on them and provide vital energy. On the other hand, they're also a powerful hallucinogen. Dad's state of shock following his fall from the cliffs, combined with the sight of Kid's ship, made him believe that he was the captain. If he keeps drinking from this chalice, he might never wake up. I have to get rid of this chalice. Professor Jones taught us that a strong adrenaline rush will counteract the mushroom's effect. First the chalice and then the adrenaline. One thing at a time. It's time to end the game. Don't show your face again, Morgan. Look who's back. Henry and his kid, the young Morgan. How did you manage to get here, Steve? It wasn't difficult. I was looking for you all over town, and suddenly, what a stroke of luck. I saw you entering the crypt in the graveyard. I waited for you a long time. Eventually, I decided to enter and I saw the tunnel. Henry, I didn't think you were still alive. 
I am partly relieved. My regret was consuming me. In the end, you were right. Kid's ship was docked here in Bone Town. How dare you come aboard my ship without permission and offend a member of my crew? Who are you? Henry, don't you recognize me? It's me. Dad! Captain! It's Blackbeard. He was also able to get on board. Blackbeard! Yes, I recognize you now. I see that you and Morgan are still inseparable. You'll end up just like him. Henry! Not again. You leave me no choice. I understand, Henry. I'm ready. On guard! Whatever you want, Henry. The day of a reckoning. It should work. It's not a cannonball, so it won't have such a devastating effect. And now the coup de grace. Fire! I did it! Heck, I didn't see that coming. The racket from the cannon was more devastating than the shell itself. Better go back on deck and alert Dad. You don't stand a chance this time. We'll see. I admit it. You defeated me, Henry. A victory over a man who was once a friend has no value for me. Captain, I'm sorry to interrupt your duel, but I think we need to go. The cave is collapsing. Captain, what are you talking about? The adrenaline caused by the duels with Jimbo and Steve is reducing the effect of the mushrooms. Hurry, let's go. There's not much time. Not before seeing the treasure. I've never been so close to it, and I have no intention of leaving now. But Steve, not now. There will be other opportunities in the future. Yes, Steve. The kid's right. Let's run while we still can. Henry, do you recognize me? Steve, is that you? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, it feels like I just woke up from a long dream. There's no time, Dad. Let's go. Dad? H how come? Who? You go. I want kid's treasure. It represents my whole life's work. Henry, just know that I didn't want any of this to happen. Steve! Farewell. Dad, let's go! Okay, I'll follow. Dad, I finally found you. Willie, is that really you? How, how long has it been? Ten years, Dad. Ten very long years. Ten years. So this means you received my letter? Yes, but why did you only have it delivered after all this time? Uh, I sensed that something was wrong with Steve. I could see it in his behavior. When I realized that the search for kids' treasure was becoming an obsession, I started to suspect that he could hurt our family. I hid my piece of the map and decided to deal with him. You are a Morgan. You have the spirit of adventure in your blood, but you were only five, and I didn't want to trouble Mom with such a burden. I hoped that in ten years Steve's obsession would vanish. I decided that if anything ever happened to me, you, after turning the necessary age, would be ready to pick up from where I left off. So I sent the post-dated letter. I read Steve's diary. I know you fell off the cliff. How did you survive? A stroke of luck. I fell right into the sea, and the tide pushed me toward an underwater passage that led directly to the cave. I wanted to find a way to get back to the surface, but I had to recover my strength first. The last thing I remember is some really delightful mushrooms. Then, it's all a blank. Dad, let's go back home. We have a lot of things to talk about. Plus, we have to find a way to tell Mom without making her faint. Elizabeth. Yes, we should go back. Ready to leave Bone Town once and for all? Bone Town is not a bad town. As soon as the legal formalities are arranged, we could think about coming back here. Remember, deep inside the cave is still the Adventure Galley. Who knows how much it can still tell the world about the Golden Age of Piracy. Speaking of which, when I took the chalice, I also brought the ship's logbook with me. Here it is. 